Here I'm drawing a car, and not all cars run on petrol and diesel. In this example, this car has an engine which has a hydrogen fuel cell. A hydrogen fuel cell produces electricity by reacting hydrogen and oxygen to form water, and this is the balanced symbol equation. The electricity generated allows the car to drive, and the only gas produced in this chemical reaction is water, which is a good thing, as water is not a major greenhouse gas. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Here I'm drawing a fuel cell, where this is where the hydrogen enters, and at the bottom, this is where the water exits. This is an electrode, and in between this electrode is where the electrolyte is located. So these are two electrodes, and this is the part of the fuel cell where the oxygen enters. And then connected in between the two electrodes are wires and the motor to the engine. You need to know. This is the negative graphite electrode, and this is the positive graphite electrode. Both electrodes are made out of graphite, as graphite is able to conduct electricity. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Hydrogen, H2, enters through here into the hydrogen fuel cell. Oxygen, O2, enters through here into the fuel cell. And water, H2O, the only product, exits through here from the hydrogen fuel cell. We already know this symbol represents the motor in the car. And the electrolyte in between the two electrodes is normally potassium hydroxide solution containing hydroxide ions which are free to move OH minus so what happens is the hydrogen gas diffuses through the graphite electrodes and reacts with the hydroxide ions forming water this supplies electrons to the circuit it's question time attempt these questions to check your understanding So at the negative electrode, H2 reacts with OH- forming H2O. This is shown in the electrolyte. And we then write H2O in the balanced symbol equation. Now these water molecules then diffuse through the negative graphite electrodes going out of the fuel cell. Electrons are lost in this process. So the electrons flow from the negative graphite electrode to the motor. We show these electrons being lost on the negative electrode. These electrons flow through the motor and it's these flow of electrons that allows the car to drive. We then balance the equation to show how there are two hydrogen molecules reacting with four hydroxide ions to form four water molecules and four electrons have been lost. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The electrons continue to flow where they then get to the positive graphite electrodes. The oxygen gas diffuses through the positive graphite electrode and into the electrolyte. So at the positive electrode, what happens is the oxygen reacts with water where electrons are gained, and this forms four new hydroxide ions to keep the cycle going. So these are both half equations 
which show what happens at each electrode. Comparing these two half equations, we can see the four hydroxide ions cancel each other out. So do the four electrons on either side of the equation. And there are four water molecules formed at the negative electrodes and two water molecules involved in the reaction at the positive electrode. So the overall equation is 2H2 plus O2 reacts to form 2H2O. This is the overall equation that takes place in a hydrogen fuel cell, which we figured out using the two half equations at each electrode. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com. For more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.